Host Sunflowers and DIYing and co-host Mama Mia DIY had an invitation to join the Napkin Exchange Challenge. These women are so talented and make unique and interesting DIYs out of napkins. So be sure to subscribe to their channels, like, save, and comment. The links to their channels is listed below. Be sure to watch all of the other amazing collaborators. And the playlist is also linked below. I have been doing this challenge for about four months now, and it never ceases to amaze me how many DIYs you can do with napkins. And this time is no different. I am making some things that have not been seen before. Now, Holly sent me some beautiful napkins, so let's take a look. Pumpkins, orange pattern ones, and blue ones with large white flower with a yellow center. And last, a floral one with sunflowers. Holly, you've done an amazing job with selecting beautiful napkins. Thank you. My first DIY is a RFID blocking credit card holder. I guess you can call this a thrift flip or a makeover DIY. I had a credit card holder that fell apart after much use, so I thought I would remake it using a napkin. The supplies needed include an old RF ID credit card holder, napkin, reptile adhesive, and a dryer sheet. I had to take it apart and remove the ripped and torn parts before I could put it back together again. The inside material was glued to the metal pieces in the reconstruction. I used a dryer sheet to give it a base over the inside material so that it would not easily come apart. As you know, this is a great hack because dryer softener sheets generally do not tear easily. So I glued that on with reptile adhesive along with the salvage part that had fallen in disarray. Next, I took the blue napkin with the large white flower and used Mod Podge to adhere to the dryer sheet and holder. I clipped the edges and folded them over and also glued with reptile adhesive. After that was done, I smoothed it the best I could and removed the excess napkin. Wow, it turned out nice. Let me know what you think. DIY number two, a napkin covered wooden pumpkin. The supplies needed include one wooden pumpkin, sunset orange paint, Mod Podge, a give thanks stamp and ink pad, and a lighter. This is a very easy and simple DIY. The wooden pumpkin is painted sunset orange on both sides of the pumpkin and then it is allowed to dry. I applied Mod Podge to the wooden pumpkin and placed a paper napkin pumpkin on top. Then the edges were burned with a lighter.
After that, a stamp that says, Give Thanks. And I think I got this some time ago at Target. And I inked it up and stamped on top of the pumpkin, Give Thanks. How cute is this? DIY number three, a napkin covered Dollar Tree pumpkin. The supplies needed include a Dollar Tree foam pumpkin, a napkin of my choice, Mod Podge, succulents, hot glue, and some white chalk paint. The first thing to do is to color the pumpkin all over with white chalk paint. Then you re can remove the second ply of the napkin and spread Mod Podge over just some sections at a time of the pumpkin before applying the napkin. There is an edge on the napkin that I should have cut off but I did not do that, so it is what it is. After applying the napkin with the pumpkin showing, I applied Mod Podge over the entire pumpkin and let it dry. After that, I made a little opening in the top of the pumpkin and push some succulents in there and styled it and it looks so gorgeous on the plant stand in my kitchen that I made in another DIY. DIY number four is a napkin light and I will have to say this is my favorite. The supplies needed include are a balloon, some jot white glue, several paper napkins, white napkins you can use or you can use the second ply of the napkins because that is usually white and I also use napkins with the leaf and sunflower cutouts. You need a puck light, some scissors, and some tape. So let's get started. I chose napkins with leaves and another with sunflowers. Now, I do not have long fingernails, so the best hack for removing the second ply is to put a piece of scotch tape on the front edge of the napkin and on the back edge and pull the two pieces until they separate. It is so easy. I cut several leaves and laid them aside. And to avoid waste, I used that second ply that I removed from the napkin. That's the white part. I put it aside. First, I inflated the balloon to the desired size. So you can have this to be as big as your balloon will could be or you could make it smaller and you could make some big and some small and have different sizes. Then I applied white jot glue to selected areas where the paper napkin is placed. This is done until the entire balloon is covered except for an opening in the top. And when it is very hard and dry, you can make the opening bigger if you want. While the process is still sticky with glue, I apply leaves and flowers to all areas of the balloon. Now, I didn't put them all in one spot. I scattered them about in various places. Now this has to dry overnight and then in the morning I cut the balloon to remove it. 
Now, don't be alarmed if it shrinks. All you have to do is once you remove the balloon, you push it outward and shape it so it's round. Place your puck light inside and it will light your night. It is so adorable and you can even put twinkle lights inside. And if you make one of these, tag me and let me see what you have made. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like, save, and comment. Most of all, subscribe. Also, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. There is a prize when I have over 700 subscribers. I would love to get to 1,000 by January 1st, 2023. So please help a girl out. And remember, kindness can become its own motive. By being kind. This is I, Eric Hoffer. And for my friend in Brazil, Hosina, hi. Tell all your friends to keep watching my videos. See you later. Bye-bye.